Hello everyone, welcome to another quick video on this week's Gran Turismo 7 Daily Race Race and Strategy. Uh, we're still in the Group 1 cars, we're still at Circuit de la Sarf, but as we sort of explained just in the video when we when the new race went live, we were throwing a little bit of a curveball when we realised we're doing 12 laps around Circuit de la Sarf. That kind of made the race around about 40 minutes, double the length of a ordinary daily race C. As of about half past nine this morning, ten o'clock this morning, that has changed to six laps, which just takes it to the sort of more normal length of 20 minutes. Whether it was a mistake or not, we don't know. Could well have been a test for 24 hours just to see what the player base reaction was to a longer race. Or it could well just have been a mistake and they've realised and reverted back. They probably weren't very happy with the player base being split down the middle with the race st uh, starting every 30 minutes so you know maybe they've gathered some data maybe it'll be something they'll look at in the future but as of now the 12 lap race is now a 6 lap race all the other settings you can see on the screen there have remained exactly the same now I've not had the chance to actually jump on and do the race since it has become 6 laps but it's not going to change the car selection it's still going to be the group C cars that is fundamentally clear from doing the race yesterday no other cars can compete no other cars can even look like they come remotely close to competing. In terms of the Group C cars, it's the Nissan R92 CP, the Mazda 787B and the Mercedes Sauber that are the three best cars. Most people choosing the R92 because as you can see from the test there, it is the quickest down the street. But personally, I like the 787B in the race because it has a little bit of better tyre wear. So talking about the tyres, one of the kind of uh, things that was a little bit annoying about the 12 lap race was that the strategy did become very one dimensional. You were kind of forced to drive some of the race on completely dead tyres. Uh, you would do 7 laps on the mediums, 5 laps on the soft tyres. There was a few people doing some variations but ultimately that is what most people were forced to do. And in most cases most people were driving lap 7 on the medium tyres with tyres completely dead and lap 5 on the soft stint with the tyres completely dead as well and it created problems uh, people were driving around on completely dead tyres getting in the way going four or five seconds a lap slower and uh, yeah it felt a little bit silly to be honest with you it actually did make the strategy very one dimensional but we managed to gather enough data over the course of the day to kind of understand how the tyres are going to work for this new six lap race you can get about four and a half laps out of the soft tyres uh, for most people, certainly in the Nissan R92, the Mazda 787B is a little bit better, it's easier to get those 5 laps out of the soft tyres in the Mazda. Uh, I had never actually tried the Mercedes at any point, but I do hear its tyre wear is very similar to the Nissan, so we know we can do 5 laps on the soft tyres, so let's take a look at our strategy options and what strategies are going to be viable. So interestingly, Despite the fact that the race has been shortened to 6 laps, it does open up the strategy a little bit more. We've got the soft and mediums to run, both are mandatory, fuel is no issue whatsoever, your pit loss is about 26 and a half seconds. As I said, for the 12 laps race, you were pretty much forced into doing 7 laps in the mediums, 5 laps on the softs. The strategy became very one dimensional. For the 6 lap race, things are opened up a little bit. We can do 1 lap on the mediums, 5 laps on the soft tyres. 2 laps on the medium, 4 laps on the soft tyres. You can even now start on the soft tyres, do 5 or 4 laps on the soft tyres, or 1 or 2 laps on the mediums. If you start on the soft tyres, you could never really do that in the 12 lap race, but in the 6 lap race, people will be going into the pits at the end of lap 1 or the end of lap 2, which will then open the track up for you to then get a little bit of clean air and possibly get some clean laps in. It probably won't be the quickest way to do it. The medium soft strategy does tend to be quicker. In any race in Gran Turismo 7, using a harder compound, finishing the softer compound does tend to be the fastest way to do it. But strategy, at the end of the day, is all about trying to get that clear track and put in the sort of lap times you know you can do. You've got traffic in your way, you're possibly lapping two seconds off, you know what your pace is. Dirty air in this race as well. For me, the best strategy is probably going to be the two medium, four soft. I don't really see any... Well, it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Doing that lap on the dead soft tyres or an additional lap on the medium tyres is not going to be a massive amount of difference. It'll probably come down to how comfortable you are driving on the dead tyres. Some people are more comfortable than others. If you're quite comfortable driving on the dead soft tyres or indeed you're actually just very good at looking after the tyres and getting the five laps out the softs 
without too much of an issue, then one medium five soft is going to be the way for you. If you're not good at driving on the dead tyres, particularly hard on the tyres, then two medium four softs is probably going to be a better option. And I suppose there is the option of just doing a three three split, but I really wouldn't recommend that. I think you're probably just wasting the potential of the soft tyres. But we'll wrap it up there. As I said, disappointed in having a little bit of a shorter race, but the strategy was kind of ruined by the fact we've got this fundamental problem that you can drive on completely worn tyres. So it's actually a positive in some ways. Six laps, we've now got some viable strategies or a selection of viable strategies. Should maybe make the racing a little bit more fun. But yeah, just an update on this week's Daily AC. Hopefully it's been useful in some way, shape or form. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye now.